Standing here with one of the senior leaders of the team, DJ Hudson. DJ, I talked to Trayvon Williams earlier in the game, or in, in the second half, and, and I told him, I said, when Eastern makes a run, and they will make a run, it's your job as seniors to calm down the team and get them refocused and not let it get away from us like last year. Yes, Is there anything that you saw you or your fellow seniors do to, to uh, make that happen? Well, we always told each other like to stay positive because of what happened last year. You know, like we had the game the whole entire way through, and then we lost it because, you know, we started putting our head down and we started, you know, playing with a little bit of, you know, um, anger with ourselves, anger towards the team. You play with anger, you get out of your mindset. When you get out your mindset, you don't tackle right. You don't make big plays like you're supposed to. So I just think tonight that our team had thought about last year, and then we just let it brush off, and we just worried about what we got to do right now and worry about what we got to do down the road. Yeah, and I agree completely. I think that trickles down from the coaching staff. I thought the coaching staff was uh, more in control this year. They, they helped calm the players down, always focusing on a positive response. Okay, I just asked the same thing I asked Keontae about getting ready for next week. Obviously, two weeks from now, another huge, huge game right here, but we can't look ahead to that. we got to look ahead to next week against Rockingham County. Can't let them have any letdowns. Again, your job as a senior, what are you going to do to make those guys get ready to play Rockingham County just like they were the best team in the state? My job as a senior is I'm going to go to practice, and I'm going to practice as hard as I can. Our team is going to practice as hard as we can, and, you know, we're going to stay calm. We're going to listen to our coaches. We're going to do everything right. You know, like we're going to try to do everything right, but we're going to go in there with the mindset of we have a job to do. You know, we're going to play for Mark. We're going to play for Josh. You know, they're two big inspirations, and I'm glad that I got to see Mark here tonight. And I think that having him back and having him watch his game will do nothing but make us push harder for the next game and harder for the game after that and after that and after that. Just going to keep pushing for Mark. Very well said. So congratulations. Go enjoy the win. Have a good week at school, and we'll see you next Friday in Rockingham. Yes, sir.